You know where to set this down at. Love it. So you need to set this up. People will come in here. Josh Odin, first one. What's up, dude? First one in the house. First time. <laughs> I hear you, man. He's on it today. for the can noise. I need a can out of koozie. <laughs> Delivery tomorrow. Let's see. I think. Well, I don't want to say it if you want to keep a hush hush for now. Man, I get we've been getting deliveries like almost every day. <laughs> That's how it goes around here, man. Trunk back, Jim. What's up? Cars and cues with Mike. What's happening, dude? I'm gonna try to uh, try to keep the camera shake free. I don't know if that's gonna happen though. <laughs> Woke up to ten inches. What? <laughs> what the hell? Goodness. Ah, oh, let me take a seat here. Snow. <laughs> Damn. You know what's funny? Is here, like in Boost's live stream last night, I think he said it was like uh, 70 degrees there. Today, I know on the way home it hit like 71 or it was 71 when I got home. And I mean, I'm outside now. I got short sleeves on. Shop doors are open. I mean, it's warm out. I wish it stayed this way. But I know it's not going to, so I'm going to enjoy it while I can. But yeah, I figured I'd come out to the shop and do a little bit, do a little bit of work, and then uh, and go live out here and maybe uh, give y'all some sneak peeks, something like that. A couple three-foot drifts suck to clear. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Man, oh, I do not like snow. I mean, I like snow, but I don't want to be in it, that's for sure. G Funk said he got snow. What's up, G Funk? Started a Fox only group in our area. Had nine Foxes crews last Saturday. Would you be interested? Whoops, hang on. Where did my comments go? Give me my comments. Would you be interested in joining us sometime? Uh, where are you at? And welcome to the stream, by the way. But right now, I don't have a Fox body, actually. <laughs> one of one RTR, Big Jim in the house. What is up, dude? Yes, I'm a little early tonight. Um, I wanted to go ahead and, and go live and, you know, hang out with you guys. So I can't be on too terribly long. But I wanted to get a jump on it and get out here. But uh, it was cool, man. I came home from work. And I uh, was able to, what are we doing tonight? Front suspension? It's funny you ask, because I was just about to say that. Um, was able to come out for a little bit before I went live here and um, got the sway bar completely bolted up. It was uh, bolted to the frame, but um, it wasn't, the end links weren't put on. So I got the end links put on. Um, Let's see, I got the caliper brackets on, the uh, backing plates or dust covers, whatever you want to call them. Those are on, um, the spindles are on and torqued down. Uh, let's see, you got the hoses on for the, the calipers up front. So pretty much just ready to put the, um, 
put the rotors on and the calipers on up front. Um, the big holdup is lines. I ordered some lines and apparently nobody has lines in stock. So ordered lines to go from the front. We cruised around the lake. Oh, really? So you're local then? Cool. Dang, I didn't know that. Uh, does it matter if I don't have a Fox body anymore? <laughs> um, even though I'm currently looking for one. Columbia area, that's cool, man. Yeah, um, Jason, hit me up on Instagram if you're on Instagram. Pony1992 underscore S550. If you're not on Instagram, um, send me an email. Pony1992 at gmail.com. And, um, you know, I'll send you my number or whatever. And uh, we'll get in touch, man. That'd be cool. Spindles on time for tires, man. It's getting close. It is getting close. Um, like I was saying, the lines though, nobody has lines. Like nobody. Pony needs a coupe. Pony needs a coupe bad. Pony, re Pony really wants a coupe. But I don't know. I don't know if Pony can afford a coupe right now. <laughs> this Nova's taking all my money. And stepchild, stepchild's got some parts in reserve waiting to go on, man. But so yeah, the brake lines. I did order some. Um, they said that they would have to be made. It would take a few days to make them, and then a few days to ship. I think they're coming from Ohio. Uh, ordered them last week. I think I want to say it was like Wednesday, Tuesday, or Wednesday last week. So I don't expect them any minute. I'd like to have them before the weekend. Because, let's see, what have I got coming? I've got something coming. Oh, a Godzilla coupe. Man, who you telling? Dude, that would be badass, for real. Um, I've got the firewall grommet coming. So all the wires that I've been running through the firewall. Uh, got that coming, so that go on. Um, two pieces for the exhaust. I got uh, a couple reducers. So... Oh, to give y'all a little insight on the exhaust, a um, little sneak peek, so to so to speak, on the information of it. Um, I decided to not go full three inch. Um, this is not a race car; it's a cruiser. Um, two and a half inch is what we went with, and you know, I think that has worked out better as far as like clearance because I want to make sure I have plenty of clearance under the car so I can tuck it up real nice. And, um, you know, keep it out of the way. No rattles or nothing like that. Mustang guy, 6501, what's up, dude? So we went two and a half inch. Um, and the exhaust is on, actually. <laughs> it's actually on, but that video has not come out yet. A friend of mine just made Fox Sway Bar mount, just like my Steed is going to sell some cheap. Dang. I have to try to remember that. I'm old and my memory sucks, so I might not remember, but... Um, yeah, so we went two and a half inch. Like I said, it's not a you know it's not a race car. We're not trying to squeeze every last horsepower out of this car. Silverback in the house. What is up, dude? Smash the thumbs up. That's right. Hit that thumbs up. So, long story short, went two and a half, and I think I think it'll be fine. Um, I don't know. I guess I can two and a half good for cruising. Yeah, and like I said, you know the clearance because I wanted to tuck the exhaust up actually i don't know you guys want a little sneak peek um of the exhaust before the video comes i haven't even edited the video <laughs> i've filmed it that's it so let me know in the comments here everybody comment i want to see all of them you know do you want a sneak peek of the exhaust let me know let me know g-funk says sneak peek I got to hear from everybody now. We got, I'm showing 14 people in here. Need to hear from at least 50% of y'all. So G Funk's saying he wants to see it. I like the turnout. Yeah, the turnouts were cool. It was loud. <laughs> and Silverback says, let's see it. G Funk says again, Josh. Okay. We got three there. Come on now. A few more. Let's, let's, uh, let's get some, let's get some comments going, man. Some participation. Mustang guy said, let's see it. That's four of you. I'm sure Jim wants to see it. He hasn't said it yet, and I'm sure he does. G Funk said it again. G Funk's trying to uh, get the count up by himself. 
Come on, man. A couple more people. Let's, let's get some participation in this in this chat, man. Just a couple people. A couple more people. Man, she only got 12 in here right now. Come on. A couple more people and I'll show you sneak peek. Uh, Josh, you've already commented, man. <laughs> it's, the, it's the same people. Only three or four people want to see it. That's terrible. Yeah, right? The lurkers, man. The the campers. That's what you call them in the gaming world. They just camp out and don't do nothing. Come on, campers. Let's uh let's get some participation here. Ah, there's Jim. Jim says show me. Okay, so can we get can we possibly get one more person? I thought Ms. Nova says she likes it loud. Um well, and that's the thing, is this will be, this exhaust is actually quiet for my standards, but this will be good for cruising. I told her, I said, look, I said, you don't want to drive around with loud exhaust all the time. For one, you don't want any extra attention, say from the cops, stuff like that. Jason Gates said sneak peek. All right, let me finish what I'm saying, and we'll give you a sneak peek. So I told her, I was like, let's run this exhaust like it is. And once we get the car on the ground and driving, then we will put some electric cutouts on the car. So when we pull up to a car meet or we pull up to a car show, we can open up the cutouts and uh, let this thing talk. Because with that camshaft, it talks. All right, so let me uh, let me get on the creeper. Man, my old behind's got to get down on this creeper. Get y'all down there. Tell you, once this car is done or back on the ground where it doesn't have to be in this spot that it's been in for two years, once it's back on the ground, I'm getting a lift. I've got to have a lift. I'm getting too old for this garbage here. All right, so let me turn this camera around. You guys have waited long enough here. Might help if I don't block the lens, huh? I'm a big sway bar man. Let's say stand up. You don't have to be afraid. I'm a big sway bar man and a Stita fan. Show them to me. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh, so old. Let me see. Let me get this situated down here. I know it's kind of shaky, but. Try to get lower so y'all can see. They call it a um I might be they call it a cross member back is what they call it. Make sure the stands don't say harbor freight. No, these aren't the harbor freight ones. That one actually says good wrench. So these things better hold it up. <laughs> but yep, the Magnaflow, like I said, they call it a cross member back. So basically you can see the transmission cross member there. That's pretty much where it attaches. So, Sublime GT500, what's up, dude? Just in time for the sneak peek of the Magnaflow. So, yep, got a few things to uh, change on it. Something nice to stainless steel. Triple threat motors, what's going on, man? Now the comments are flying. So there we go. There's a sneak peek of the exhaust, and that video should be out, um, I think, Thursday this week. I'm looking straight on at the car. Look at that. Dude, that's so nice right there. It fits real nice. Should come out Friday night, man. This car ain't even, this car needs to get on the ground. I've been working on this car like day in and day out. All right, I'm gonna give you all a little sneak peek up front here too. So, yeah, man, she's tucked up in there. So, this is what I came out and worked on a little bit today. There's the sway bar. Look at that gargantuan sway bar right there. The sway bar is big. And like I said, there's the rubber brake line. It's ready to go. 
Look at them coilovers. QA1 coilovers right there. Yes, sir. Coilovers in the front. And it gets some all new suspension in the rear as well. New uh, leaf springs. New shackles. All that stuff. One of one RTR. Big Jim says, welcome to Pony, man. Appreciate you joining, dude. Hell yes. That's what I'm talking about. Love it. So let me show you the factory sway bar. This thing is tiny. Yeah, I'm going to go live at 8. Yeah, that works. Because I can't stay on too late anyway, but look at this. Okay. That is the factory sway bar. Northern Mustangs, what's happening, dude? And the factory sway bar. That's crazy. It is tiny. Tiny, 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 tiny. There's G Funk's favorite wheels. That's for you, G Funk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. G Funk loves those wheels. Here's a shot of the pasture side. We'll look at the pasture side. UPS driver navigated the 12 inch of snow today and delivered the RTR rear spoiler for the 13. Nice, dude. Anyone else buffering off and on? Uh, it's probably because I stepped away from the open door, so I am on my Wi-Fi. It usually picks up fairly well, but here's the passenger side. As you can see, the passenger side, we've got the inner fender in. I can't wait to get the inner fender in on the driver side. There's the brake line there. Got the rubber hose waiting to go on. And you can see the coil over on this side. Man, this car is going to be sweet to drive. It's going to be so nice. So I think the um, the engine bay is should be pretty much finished up. I think I ran my last wire today. So the last wire that I just ran earlier, if you can see the um, combination valve, portion valve, whatever you want to call it, that um, brake warning sensor right there, I think that's the last wire I've got to run from the engine bay so yeah once i get that grommet then i'll be able to appreciate that mustang mike appreciate that silver back like i said once i get that grommet i should be able to uh close everything up under the hood frank three stains what's going on man and of course y'all know oh i'll show you i'll show you a couple things on stepchild i'm gonna make a video on this too um I'm gonna have a video on basically where Stepchild is, a couple little things that I've done, plus a sneak peek at what is coming up this year for Project Stepchild. So, man, y'all stay tuned. It's probably gonna drop Sunday, and I've got a surprise. I've got a giveaway for the S550 guys. Actually, for the, for the 15 to 17 S550 guys, I've got a giveaway. I know that you know rules out a lot of people but um i had something that was actually kind of kind of sort of donated but i'll go over all the details in the video it should be out sunday but anyway so i wanted to show you guys this since you guys are hanging out in the chat with me God, i can't hold this phone still but i finally got a proper mount for the anti-gravity battery so she's mounted in there and uh, she ain't going nowhere. Got a cool little indicator right there. You can check the charge of the battery. And with the lithium battery, since I don't drive this car a whole lot, got to keep it on the charger. Keeps it uh, well maintained. Maniac S550. Yeah, you need that battery, man. Look at that. Look at the battery. Look at the battery box. Like, this is crazy. Like, there's nothing here. I mean, that's, that's as wide as it is right there. And then one other thing. I did a little cosmetic mod. I kind of wanted to do these for a while. Um, if you guys remember my live stream that I had the silver S550 on the, uh, the thumbnail, uh, we put some on his car, and I really liked how they looked. So we got the little Roush winglets. Kind of put them on there. They're like, I think they were like 20 bucks, man. So we got some Roush winglets on there. Kind of change the look a little bit. You know, give it a little flight on the side. I think it looks pretty good. We'll go over to the other side. 
<clears throat> it's kind of dark over here, but got the Roush winglet on this side. You can see that one. So let's put those on, man. I think they look pretty good. Put your CD player next to it. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, 20, 25 bucks, man. They're cheap. Cheap, cheap, man. Got them on eBay. And I mean, they're, they're, they seem to be good quality. I mean, I don't know what the difference is between these and the Roush, but the Roush, I mean, look at that. It's not going anywhere. I mean, I moved the whole trim piece before that thing will come off. So it's on there nice and secure. Those Roush wings do a great job collecting around. Yeah, I figure they probably do. As you can see, it comes around the back side here even. How much is a lithium battery? I bought one for a custom motorbike and damn weightless, but, but expensive. Yeah, um, the battery, I think it was around 300. So yeah, it's pretty expensive uh, weight reduction mod, but I was able to shave off, was it like 20 or 25 pounds? And that's off the nose of the car. So that's huge weight savings. You know on these cars because they're heavy as as they come so but yeah expensive the uh the little battery tray that was around 100 bucks so yeah not cheap man not cheap at all but you know you can't take it with you you gotta enjoy it at some point so that's what i'm doing but did i miss mrs speed addict Let's see. Yeah, Miss Pam, what is happening? Let's get a closer look at the battery, please. All right. You put more weight on the right side pieces? Yeah, but it's in the rear. It's all right. <laughs> I don't know how close I can get you, but. Yeah, bought these, uh, these little adapters here. Uh, what do you call them? The I don't know, positive negative lugs or whatever you call them. <laughs> it's cute, yeah. That's a cute little battery. But I mean it. It's it actually spins the starter faster. It's crazy. I think he's got a nine off after that, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, man. So I'm ready to. Get to this car, man. I'm ready to. Um, there's a hay member, y'all see it's still sitting there, still half blue. So I gotta get on that. I'm trying to get this Nova done, man, so I can get back on this car. Oh, that's the other thing. <clears throat> so here is the spare differential that I picked up. Came out of a 2017 performance pack. Getting a few things in and trying to do stuff to the 20. There you go. But yeah, that can't. this came from a 2017 performance pack. And it is already loaded with 456 gears. They are already in there. I actually took them to a shop. Had them install it. Uh, because I knew I wouldn't have time. I knew I just would not have time. At all. So... That's already done, just waiting to go in. But before I put that in, I have to do, or actually I have to do some other things along with this. So I got to pull the axles anyway to change this out. So what gears? 456 gears, uh, Richmond gears. You see the box right there. <clears throat> so there's some other things I need to do at the same time. Have to go get food for the family. Probably go live at 7.38. Peace out. All right, dude. Sounds good. We'll talk to you later. But, yeah. There's some other things I need to do at the same time. So, watch my new video. Good, easy, clean way to strip that paint. Yeah, I need to check it out. Man, I've been so busy. I feel bad because I hadn't been able to watch people's videos, man. It's, man, I've been nonstop trying to get this Nova going. And, and it's crazy. Red line fast. Um, but just remember, I've got the T56 Magnum transmission, so the gearing is different. It's not MT82. But anyway, if you can see that FedEx box right there, 
I can't show you what's in there just yet. But you see that FedEx box, that's something else that has to happen at the same time as a differential. So stay tuned for the FedEx box. You don't want to miss that one. No, oh, almost tripped. That was cool. All right, let's see. Okay, cool. So yeah, that's what's going on. Um, trying to think, I've got a couple other cosmetic things for stepchild that are going to happen. So I uh, got to get those done as well. Um, I got to do that K member. That's, I have a feeling that's going to be a pain in the butt. Oh, I'm gonna have to call on some help for that one. Maybe I can get John Durr over here. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, as soon as I finish this Nova or as soon as the Nova is running and doesn't need any major things, hopefully. Still waiting for my TX. Your TX. What cosmetics? Uh, can't say just yet. I can't I can't let that cat out of the bag just yet. Silverback smash that thumbs up. That's right. Are you going to keep Stepchild as a streetcar? Stepchild is going to be a street strip car. Um, meaning, Boss Man 12 Boss, what is going on, man? Meaning that the car is still going to have power steering, still going to have AC, still going to have heat, still going to have the uh, touch screen, the navigation, all that stuff. Oh, Terminator X, I got you. I got you. Um, still going to be a street car. But hopefully it's going to be fast as hell. Really hope it's going to be fast. Um, with this next round of mods, especially with the 456 gear, I think the 456 gear is going to be the key to some quicker ETs. What mod for the front do I need to stiffen it up? Um, stiffen up the front? Hmm. Not the only thing I would suggest for the front is maybe a strut tire brace if you don't have one, but you've got the Odin, so uh, you can't, I don't think it'll clear that. So, mm, I don't know. I don't think there's really much you need to do. It's gonna be a Strace car, <laughs> right? <laughs> did you see the new forum on RTR website? No, I did not. Gotta love having both street and strip car. Hoping Ken stays that way too. He should anyways. Um, we should be able to up to a point. Uh, we should be able to go pretty quick. Some pretty good numbers. And have a lot of fun before, you know, we'd have to go full on race car. I mean, yeah, we might have to put a roll bar, you know, in it. Something like that. But, you know, I still consider, you know, a car like mine or a car like Ken's. Even if it had a roll bar in it, it's still a street car, in my opinion. Trooper 5 what's going on? I recommend you get a roll of copper nickel brake line and start over. I've actually got new lines coming, so uh, as soon as I get here, hopefully I'll be able to slap them bad boys in. No Fox given. What's going on, man? What is happening? Get caught up on the comments here. Have the OEM PP strut, but took it out for a custom one. I'm good on the front, just need more power. There you go. We all need more power, man. Booster 931, what is up, dude? What is happening? Let me make sure I don't miss nobody. I think it will stop at some point and we can start another build. There you go. Hell yeah. And Fatboy Fox, what is happening? What's up, Pony and everyone? What is going on? Everybody's saying hi. Booster 931 in the house with a 499 Super Chat support. Ready for four takeover. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. I booked my room today. So, or our room. Mine and Nova's. But I booked today. And I, I think it's getting kind of slim. <laughs> so, probably a good thing I went ahead and, and uh, did that. Tags and insurance makes it a street car. Frank, I agree, man. Honestly, I agree with that. You know, if, if you can go out there, you got tags and insurance, and you can drive it without breaking down within like 30 minutes, then... It's a street car, in my opinion, but um, mine will still have all the creature comforts. At least for now, I don't plan on doing away with them at all. 
I'm getting too old for that. <laughs> Finally, you may see you there. You're going to be there. Room back to here. All right, I think I'm caught up. So, uh, hopefully next year. Oh, man. Dang. Yeah, this year I think it's going to be pretty big. Where is the room? Where's the room? Where else would it be? Where they put rooms? <laughs> I've got so many UPS deliveries this week, dude. UPS, FedEx, everybody, everybody knows where our house is. Oh, uh, they come here all the time. It's crazy. In the hotel, right? That's what I'm saying. That's where the room is in the hotel. By other rooms, exactly. Anyone know what day Ant is going to for takeover? I think we need to ask him. If Ant comes in here, if uh, Black Knight comes in here, we need to ask him um, what day he's going to for takeover. Going to be in the fast car hotel. <laughs> Trying, no promises. The Fox ain't going at this point. May trailer the 65. Hey, that's cool too. Hell yeah. Yeah, everyone asked. <laughs> uh, apparently, I missed it, Mustang guy, but apparently, there's a like an inside joke that everybody keeps asking Ant when he's going to uh, Ford Takeover. <laughs> I think he even titled one of his videos that. I hadn't been able to watch it. I hadn't been able to watch anything. But I think he actually tiled it. I've seen it. Oh, and there's my, uh, oh, what do you call them? Uh, banners and poster back there. I got those up on the wall. Yes, yes. Are you staying in the Holiday Inn at the Fast Car Hotel? I don't know that joke either. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I missed it somewhere, Pam. I don't know. <clears throat> and too busy bumping his music in the dually. <laughs> But yes, I'll be staying at G Funk Express Hotel. <clears throat> that's where I'll be. Probably staying at the Baymont now. A friend that's coming is hooking us up with a free room. Well, you can't beat free, that's for sure. Yeah, I miss it. I'm just trying to help him out. <laughs> I won't know until time gets closer for Ford Takeover. But yeah, so um, the hotel that uh, Silverback stays at, he says it's pretty nice, man. I wanted to try that out, but the parking is really good at the Holiday Inn Express. Um, and, you know, the rooms are nice, and that's where everybody's going to be. So I kind of, uh, a little bit of peer pressure, I think. So I wanted to just stay there. But uh, I think the other one might be a little bit cheaper. I don't know. Changed my other channel name to Boosted 931 Off Road. Easier to type and remember. First video this weekend. There you go. Yeah, man, I need to, uh, if you want to go ahead and link your, your new channel in here, man, do it. Link it in here, and uh, everybody in here can go subscribe to that one, too. Or, yeah, you're a mod, so you can do that. Took off Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for it. I think Ken is, too. Yeah, I'm off uh, Thursday through Monday, so it's only directly across the street. Yeah, Silverbacks Hotel is directly across the street. But I want to check it out. I want to go there and check it out, though. Can't be the parking or the nice cleaner. Yeah, I mean, everything is pretty nice there. Um, the parking, yeah, we had plenty of parking for trucks and trailers, which was real nice. <clears throat> real nice to have that for sure. Parking at Holiday Inn is the best, and that pool will be great. If it's open, you think they're going to have that pool open? I don't know, man. It would be cool if they if they did. Off weekend, too, just figured I'd take extra day if some are coming in Wednesday, too. Yeah, we'll be coming in Thursday like last year is how I got it planned. Did I get the discount? I believe so um, because I, the link that you sent me in the text, I just clicked on it, and it, it said, what, FT21. So it was Ford Takeover 21. It already had like a, some kind of code put in there. So, yeah, I think I did. Ready to see all y'all? Yeah, man. I'm ready to have some fun, dude. We always have a good time, no matter where we're at. So, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Depends on COVID numbers then. Yeah, right. Wednesday through Sunday morning was 561. Yeah, ours was like four something. We want to go when racing is going on, but I'm close. I have come early and leave late. There you go. But it's calming down. So Sean's about to go to school three days a week instead of two. Well, that's good. 
Street Slayer is going to keep his promise to jump on the <laughs> little naked. I don't want to look. Man, you should have said nothing. None of us want to look. <laughs> we don't want to see that. Oh, man. We didn't have a good time, though. We had a blast last last time. Is um is Stang Giant going? Anybody know if the crop duster is going to be there? <laughs> I'm pretty awkward on ground in the water. I'm like a rock. <laughs> Man, when I was a kid, that's all we did. We lived in some apartments. When we first moved down here to South Carolina, we lived in some apartments. They had a pool. And at that time, I still had a diving board. We used to love rocking the pool, man. We'd rock the pool every time. Diving, can openers, cannonballs. Shit, man, we had a good time there. As hot as it gets down here, man, it was nice having a pool to go to. He's going to go like almost every day during the summer. But definitely on the weekends. We spend a lot of time there. Atomic bomb. <laughs> right? Ken's chilling, not working his time. Dude, yeah. If anybody sees Ken working at Ford Takeover, that's it. We're cutting them off. We got we to gotta come up with something to do to Ken if, if he works at Ford Takeover. So this is, this is the one rule Ken has is no working. Unless it's on his car. Got to make sure he don't book any side jobs that we got right. Stang Giant going to bring catfish and steak and mayonnaise. Oh, God. <laughs> Somebody better bring a breeze in case Stang Giant shows up. All right. <laughs> Mayo on steak is a crime. You know what's good on steak? Sour cream. Holy crap. Love it. Take uh, Get you a steak. Take your sour cream. Get some sour cream on there. If you ain't tried it, try it. Well, I'm sure he may have to help a bit if Scott asks, but I meant nothing like that last year. Scott, who is Scott? What would he have to do? Work on his car. That's it. Link for hotel. Uh, boss man, can you throw the link for the hotel in here, please? Stupid fast truck. What's going on, man? What is happening? I want to eat Mexican with you all this time. I missed it last year. Yeah, you did. Filet and A1. <laughs> Good steak needs nothing but salt and pepper. Now, that's true. I like some uh, horseradish and sour cream. Now, that there, that sounds pretty good, too. No working on any cars I meant for takeover. Right, exactly. So, yeah, boss, man, if you'll throw that link in the chat for everybody. So, yeah, it's already filled out for the discount. You just got to put your information in. We had a blast at a Mexican restaurant. Steak and mayo for the crop duster. <laughs> oh, man. That shit was so funny last year. Thinking about changing my screen name to Mustang Dan 651. So if you see, so if you see it, it's me. All right. Yeah, because I call everybody by their YouTube name. So unless I know their real name and I'm used to saying it, I'll say YouTube name. So. Steak and sour cream is awesome. Yes, indeed it is. Hell yeah. With a little bit of butter to the list. Yep, that sounds good too, actually. Man, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> we always start talking about food, man. <laughs> Damn it, now I'm hungry. I know cars, not names for most people. Yeah, that too. Yeah, when I used to work at a speed shop here, man, I used to go to the track and, um, you know, I'd have like people with me and people would all the time be coming to me, talking to me and stuff. And, um, you know, they'd be like, well, who is that? And say, well, I don't know the name. <laughs> well, they come in the speed shop all the time. I've had people freak out when I use their government name. <laughs> ah, damn it. Got a meatloaf in the oven. Who's coming over? Hell yes, dude. I'm down. Yes, indeedy. I'm getting hungry. Right, Jim? <laughs> we need some tacos, man. Oh. Made chili tonight. Gonna do some crop dusting on my own. Oh, that's bad, dude. That's terrible. Man, I can't wait to hang out with everybody again. We had such a good time. We had a good time in Alabama, too. 
Might bring some smoked chicken wings. That's what I'm talking about. Mike, aren't you uh, aren't you cooking at Fort Tech? Everything you say you gonna cook. Can't wait to meet everyone. Yeah, dude, we have a really good time. When we all get together, man. Oh, and when some of the group came by here over the holidays, man, <laughs> it's nonstop laughs. I mean, your face will hurt. Your stomach will hurt like you did crunches all night. You don't know? Mike, come on, man. We want you to cook for <laughs> Hoping we can get a hops and do gatherings and dino meats. Yeah, right? Yeah, that would be nice. Victor, what is happening? What's going on? Yes, all is well, currently. <laughs> Hopefully next year. That looked awesome. Yeah, dude. Man, we had a good time. Non-stop laughs. And there's the link. Boss man put the link for the hotel in the chat there. If you'd like to book your room, I would suggest doing it pretty quick. But there's a the link. Like I said, everything is already filled out as far as the discount code. All you got to do is put your information in. And they don't even charge you. It's um, You don't even have to put like a deposit or nothing. Um, you just got to put your card in. They just hold the number. They don't charge you a thing until... Um, I think until you check out, so, and then you can cancel up to like whatever day you're supposed to check in. So it's a good deal. Just had a burger off the grill and some tater tots, deep fried, not crap out of them. Yeah, sounds good too, man. Need to do something to fall again. Yep, for sure, for sure. I have to talk to... Mr. Speed Addict and Ken first about it because I don't want you to step on each other. I got you, man. Yeah, no, 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 no. I understand. Yep, yep. Whew, man. I'm ready to get this note done, y'all. It's going to be so awesome to, to see this car drive again. <clears throat> I mean, this car basically... <laughs> About the only thing that's going to be the same is the frame and the body. It's getting all new suspension. The, su the suspension is going to be completely new. Um, there are some steering parts that I haven't changed yet, but I'll probably wait till we get alignment. I know it's going to need alignment. Might as well have them change the parts while they're doing it so that I don't really screw it up. Um, so, I mean, everything's new under this car gonna be awesome i believe april 2nd is the cutoff date on reserve and you have up till 48 hours before you show up to cancel we have 15 rooms reserved right now and seven of them are already gone okay i almost got a suite i almost got a suite dude i wanted to try that but i don't know i figured it's kind of a waste of money because we're really not at the hotel much so about bringing the barbecue for you guys yeah there you go only 267 miles from me, four hours. I can leave early, get there in the morning. There you go. Hell yeah. <laughs> Bring it, my toes are fine. <laughs> oh, man. May do holiday on Friday night and Baymont Saturday night. There you go. Do it, man. Do it. Every room has two queen beds reserved for us. Ah, I gotcha. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah, because, um, okay. Because I wanted to see how much the suite was, and it said there was some kind of problem um, with the re reservation code or whatever. So that's, okay, that's what it is then. All right. So if you try to get anything other than two queens, you won't get the discount is, is how I'm understanding that, so... I saw the tornado damage this morning. Crazy. Damn. Who got tornadoes? I know Boosted said that they ever had a tornado watch or something. Ask him, but I don't see an issue at all. Sweet. Yeah, I want to I wanna try some Mike's cooking, man. Oh, you can't beat good food. It bypasses us. Damn. Yeah, I got... I guess that's... That's like headed this way or came this way because it's like super warm today. Alabama got hit. Ah, I got you. Damn it. 
Okay, Alabama and Georgia. Damn. Looks like the Eco Beast is hauling a grill too. There you go. Bypassed. <laughs> Yes, G Funk, cook it up. There you go. We supposed to get some snow tomorrow. You can have a snow, dude. Mm -hmm. I really hope it doesn't snow here at all. I mean, we're getting close to February, so typically here in South Carolina, our cold months are January and February. Next gen car guys, what is up, dude? What's happening? So typically the coldest months are January, February. We're almost to February. It's been a, I gotta say, it's been a pretty mild winter and I hope it stays that way um, so I can stay out here in the shop. There's been a couple of pretty cold days um, that I was out here, but I've got a little heater that helps. <laughs> but yeah, I hope it stays mild so I can get this work done, man. I got lots to do. Just had pork, rice, and stew squash. Man, that sounds good too. What's going on, Clay? Welcome to the live stream. Hope we don't hear either. I think they mentioned a little snow tomorrow. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want any snow. <laughs> None. We're going to get our first inch of snow tonight. I'm sure everyone will freak out. Yeah, see, that's how it is here, man. We get snow and everyone freaks out. We got some weather here, mostly wind and a lot of rain. Yeah, we've had rain and stuff. Severe weather yesterday, snow tomorrow. I'll shake my head. God, it's great. Just grill some burgers, man. That sounds good. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, Miss Nova Castile, she is actually, the reason she's not in the live stream at all, she had a cousin dinner. Um, typically, they'll do a cousin dinner, I think, once a month, something like that, and it's usually on a Tuesday. So she had to go do that, uh, hang out with the family. So she went and did that, and I did a little bit of work on the Nova and hanging out with you guys. So Vegas had bad. Vegas had a weather watch for snow. What? What? <clears throat> snow is cleansing the salt is <laughs> great stuff I bet it'll cleanse the damn metal right off your car won't it <laughs> the chicken pot pie tonight man I'm I'm not a fan of chicken pot pie unless it's like homemade and the chicken's moist and it I don't like the uh, regular pot pie like if you can't cook it I don't want it. <laughs> look at that fast guy's poster up on the wall behind yep it's car mob back there fastest s550 convertible that i've ever been in it's supposed to get snow tonight and on the first yeah yeah cousins are annoying i avoid them <laughs> burgers and cold sweet tea there you go we only do homemade that's what i'm talking about i know how they are via facebook <laughs> yep for real man no, nah, but uh, her family, they're all really close, man. They always have parties and stuff. Well, they haven't had a lot since this whole COVID crap. I mean, it kind of ruined that stuff. But, man, you talk about throwing down with some food at some parties. Man, tons of people, tons of food. It's crazy. But the food is so good, man. How is chicken not moist in a pie pie? I said moist. <laughs> I don't know, man. People can mess it up, though. People, It can be dry, like so dry. Mm. Nah, it's gotta it's gotta be right got to be right <laughs> alright so we do have some uh, people that are in here now that weren't in here earlier yeah, have a great night I'll check back in a bit see if you're still on alright Mustang guy appreciate you coming in I like chicken pie pie but I don't like the crusty part that seems to be everyone else's favorite uh, it depends it depends for me he has a can only do burnouts when he's on ice. <laughs> All right, so we've got some more people in here than were in here earlier. So I'll give another sneak peek for those guys that missed it the first go round. So give a sneak peek of the Nova's exhaust. So I'm going to crawl my old behind back under there. I keep blocking the camera. All right. There's my creeper, Jeepers Creepers. I've had this thing for years, man. Isn't that a burn on an ice? It's called slipping. <laughs> oh, let's see. So you can't even see the exhaust from this point of view right here. But let me get underneath. 
Frank's thing at the Holiday Inn. There you go. But here you go, man. The guys that weren't in here earlier, here's a sneak peek of the exhaust on the Nova. There's the hooker headers, ceramic coated into a two and a half inch exhaust. I know I said I was wanting to do three inch, but I think the two and a half gives us some more clearance, some more room to work with. And this is not a race car. This is a street car. So there you go, man. We do have tailpipes back there. You can see the tailpipe hanging down over there. And you kind of see the one right there. <clears throat> but yeah, the bad part is I need to get a different drive shaft. Definitely need to get a different drive shaft. It is too short. That looks man. I love some Magna Flow, dude. Really like Magna Flow. And then I'll back up again. Ugh. So y'all can see how nice it tucks. So if you get about straight on with the side of the car, if you see right there, I mean, that's the frame rail. So the exhaust is pretty much tucked up in definitely no lower than the frame rail. So that is good. That is how I wanted to do it, man. That is, this turned out, it, it, pretty much exactly how I pictured but yeah so but she's quiet now so we got to put some cutouts on there <laughs> Nova says she got to have some cutouts when she goes to the show oh Woo. and then of course if anybody missed stepchild I'll show you the anti-gravity battery got the new holder in there a proper holder for the battery and I did hook up um, these guys. They got eyelets. And then you can disconnect it here. Whoop, right there, you can disconnect it here. And just throw that part in the battery box there. And uh, that way, I don't have to use the gator clips. So that works out pretty good. Now let's see. There was a question. It turned out good. Yeah, man. It turned out really well. Appreciate that. Yeah, cars and cues. Yep. Appreciate that, man. Just do fast track said, oh, ah. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let me make sure I didn't miss any comments real quick. Magna Go, that's right. Who all is staying there, boss man? A lot of people. Boosted Pony, G-Funk, my call, boss man, car mom. Yep. Lots of people, man. Yeah, more than that, too, I think. But for anybody that missed it earlier, we did put the Roush winglets on here, the little rock catchers. Got some rock catchers on uh, Stepchild. <laughs> These cars, man, are horrible. They collect so many rocks. Like, you change the oil, you go under there and pull that belly pan off, you're going to get some rocks out of there. Lots of them. And in the back, too. The back is terrible about it. Look at that Whipple, man. Look at that Whipple supercharger. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, hopefully it should be running some good numbers, man. And then in case anybody else missed it, there's the differential again. That diff with the 456 gears. Uh, man, what do you know about that? And this, is, uh, this is the workstation. Here are the, uh, that's part of the line I cut off. My front brake. Cut that off, reflared it. That actually turned out pretty good. Uh, is there anything else I can show y'all? There's some brake fluid waiting to go in the Nova. What else can I show you? Anything? Uh, I don't think there's anything else really that I can show y'all. <clears throat> then over here we got the damn 456 gears. It's going to be humming. Yeah, dude. I ain't playing around this year, man. Ready to go fast. <clears throat> I need a kitchen table for the... for the <laughs> Dude, you like my kitchen table, man? <laughs> Look at various dual mode muffler. I love mine. Goes from tame <clears throat> to wait the day. Yeah, we're going to put some electric cutouts, man. We're going to go open, open pipe on that thing. 456, you're going... Looking at the stars and you take off. Man, it, I hope so. Well, no, I don't hope so, but... I hope it leaves hard, yeah. This is the death trap right here. Surprisingly, nobody got hurt on this thing when they all came here. That's very surprising. 
I figured somebody would have got hurt. There's old wiring that was in the Nova. All that work on that wiring. And I ripped it out. Oh, well, who cares? <laughs> that was the original X pipe that was on uh, Coyote Ugly. <laughs> that is a hodgepodge of an X pipe there. <laughs> uh, see, is there anything I can show y'all? Well, there's the rotors that will be on the Nova soon. Nice and freshly painted there. So hopefully they don't look all rusty behind the wheels. Got the calipers up there. Let's see, you know, top of this ladder. Got some other goodies up here. Got some uh, QA1 shocks that are going on the rear to match the front. These are the, this is the leaf spring installation kit that'll be going on. New shackles and everything. And then there's the new leaf springs right there. That's going to be fun. I've never changed leaf springs. It shouldn't be too bad, though, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, that's uh, about all that's going on, really. The shop is a total wreck. The shop is kind of a train wreck. Everything looks great. Appreciate that, man. Has his own parts out. Dude, look at these shells, man. We, we first had a shop we built... We built that shelf there, and then we bought that one on sale, and then we bought another one taller, a little bit taller, and then that came from a lady, I think, uh, Marketplace or something like that, along with that one. So we need, we're probably going to add some more on that wall too, I'm sure. But we need to get rid of some junk. Look at the, this is, uh, look at this junk over here, man. This is, this is all the stock stuff that come off the LS truck motor. All that stuff. I may be able to sell some of this stuff. I don't, you know, I don't know. There's the oil pan there. Hell, there's the engine cover, which won't fit on our intake because we got the TBSS intake. There's some factory uh, 11 to 14 headers that I was using on Coyote Ugly when I first got it together. And it's garbage there is the universal intake tube i can have a clean garage i'll come by with the truck and haul it away free charge there you go yeah yeah uh there's my fox body three inch tailpipes i did not sell those with coyote ugly because i'm saving those for a coupe there's some body parts that come off coyote ugly there's the stock intake for the ls there's the intake for stepchild there's the inner fender for the Nova and yada, yada, yada. Some bunch of used stuff over there. So, oh, there's a muffler off the F-150. I don't know why I just don't throw that away. It's really not good for anything. <laughs> yeah, standing up on the trailer. Oh. Looks like your shop is really well lit. Makes for a lot better video. What size is the shop? The shop is a 40 by 40 by 12. So 40 by 40 square and then 12 foot ceilings. And these lights are actually pretty cool. Let me, uh, let me turn off a set and see if I can get you a better look at the light itself. Because it's, it's pretty cool. You just, um, you just put up boxes for like a bulb where you'd screw in a bulb. Or boxes and a cover, whatever you call it. I should be able to turn this side off. Let me see if I can get you up to a light. But if you can see there, it screws in just like a light bulb. And it's LED, and these are only 70 watts. They make uh they make a hundred watts I know of. Well, these do a really good job at lighting up the shop. Actually, I'll turn the lights off and y'all can see how dark it is out here. Let's see. <clears throat> so, but since they have the doors open, we get some light from the outside. But yeah, it does a pretty good job, man. 
And I've got, let's see, one, I got six there and then one there and one there. <clears throat> Jocelyn Nova looks killer. Appreciate that, man. A lift for the garage would be awesome. Dude, that's that's what I was saying earlier, man. As soon as uh, the Nova's on the ground and running good and, you know, it's in a position where we can move it out of the way. Need a shot like that. My walls are short. Yeah, I wanted to make sure um, I got at least 12 foot ceiling, but yeah, once the Nova is mobile, um, I'm going to look at getting getting a lift because it's been too long without one and I'm getting, I'm not getting any younger. I know that. So, huh, so we'll see. Hopefully, uh, probably this year, I'm thinking, but Y'all, we have been on here for an hour. I know that um, Mr. Sublime wants to go live. And I need to get something to eat, man. I'm kind of hungry. As soon as I got home from work, came out here and uh, started tinkering to get a few things done with the Nova that I could get done real quick before I went live. And I wanted to go live out here with you guys to, uh, you know, give you a little treat, a little sneak peek at, you know, what's been going on, you know, before the actual video comes out. Because you guys always come in and hang out with me. And, um, you know, we have a good time. So for that, I wanted to be out here and give you a sneak peek versus me just sitting there. So, But with having said that, I'm going to cut this one off here. Um, can't wait for Ford Takeover. If you haven't made your reservation, you might want to go ahead and do it. Um, it seemed like the rooms were kind of slim. I don't know. Maybe that's... Maybe that's not the case, but well, exhaust looks good. You have a good night. Right on, G-Funk. But, uh, yeah, if you hadn't made your reservations for Ford Takeover yet, I would suggest doing that. Stay tuned for a video on Thursday of this exhaust. The exhaust video should come out this Thursday, as long as I don't get too busy with other stuff. And then Sunday, I've got a video coming out with a giveaway for the 15 to 17 S550 guys. So... Oh, got that all out of the way. So, man, we will see you guys later. I appreciate everybody coming in here. And uh, all my channel members, man, I appreciate you, you guys doing that and uh, really helping out the channel, man. That goes a long way. All the super chats that you guys give, man, uh, it means a lot. Uh, you know, I don't like to ask for anything, but those guys that donate, those guys that want to become members and become members, man, very much appreciate y'all doing that. I know you don't have to. But you do it anyway to show support. So I really appreciate that. But anyway, let me get out of here. I'm babbling. And, uh, man, we'll see you guys probably tomorrow in, in Ken's live stream. Ken, we're, we're taking off, man. But appreciate you coming by, dude. But we will see you guys tomorrow in Speed Addict 731's live stream.